well and truly laid on, but Carolyn had no complaints. After a voyage round the north of Scotland, Britannia brought the Queen and members of her family to Aberdeen. The Duke of Cornwall and Princess Anne watched while Her Majesty and the Duke of Edinburgh disembarked. Princess Margaret presently accompanied her young nephew and niece when they too went ashore. One important engagement was the visit to the Royal Aberdeen Hospital for sick children. The Queen and the Duke stayed here a considerable time, making a very thorough tour of inspection. They talked with many of the young patients, who must certainly have been thrilled by this big event in their lives. In addition to other visits, there was of course a drive round Aberdeen. As you'd expect, it was made abundantly clear that the Granite City is second to none when it's a case of welcoming Her Majesty.